Easter Sunday is coming up, and Pastor Miles from the Rock Church is here to talk all about this very holy week. Um, welcome back to Good Morning San Diego. Keep your thinking caps on, <laughs> as my mother likes to say, because Easter is coming on Sunday. Good Friday is this Friday. Are you prepared? Mentally, physically, spiritually. Our friend Pastor Miles McPherson from the Rock Church is here to talk all about Easter services. Good morning. Good morning. So we have a Easter good. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi, girl. Hey. <laughs> Happy Easter. Um, and hello to your beautiful wife. Yes, good morning. Yes. Um, okay, so let's talk about Easter because as Catholics, you know, and as Christians, we really think about this time as kind of the crux of our faith. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what is going to be happening at The Rock Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so Good Friday will celebrate the death of Christ. Saturday and Sunday will celebrate the resurrection with a different sermon, so it's two different services. But I want to um, challenge people not to celebrate Easter. Wait, oh, oh, okay, what? As I like to say, I'm why? I challenge people not to celebrate, but to participate in Easter. Okay. So everything Jesus did, he did as an example to us. You know, when you, th when you think of Jesus, you think of the most loving, most forgiving man, God, man ever. Why? Because he was teaching us, here's how I want you to live. When he died, he died with humble, with all humility, didn't defend himself because he was paying for our sin. And he says, listen, I want you to suffer humbly, okay? When he rose from the dead, he was saying, this is an example for you as well. Eternal life is available for you. Don't celebrate it only and say, oh, it happened to him, but receive it, receive Christ your Savior and walk in eternal life. We all know intuitively that we're eternal beings. I've never been to a funeral or done a funeral where someone said, you know, Uncle Bobo didn't make it. That's it. That's the end for him, <laughs> right? right? We always say, always in a better place because in eternity is in us. God put, us, put it in us to yearn for it, to believe in it. Right. Jesus' resurrection, which is what Easter is all about, was a sign that, yes, eternal life is available for you. Mm -hmm. And not only is it, not only is it did, did I rise from the dead, but if you believe in me, John, 4, uh, John 11 tells us, I'm the resurrection and life. He who believes in me shall not die but have everlasting life. And so I would challenge people to make sure that they have a relationship with Christ because his title was also an example to us. Mm -hmm. His title was the Son. He had a relationship with the Father. And he was saying to us, I want you to live in a relationship with the Father. I want you to live like me mm -hmm. and I want you to anticipate that there's eternal life available for you mm -hmm. and so I want you to participate in Easter yes. so eternal life is, is available to you yes mm -hmm. so you got to get yourself in that mindset but how do you live your life knowing that do you change the course of your life the, change the course of how you do things who you interact with how you interact with people in order to anticipate that yeah. everlasting you life? know if you if you um, look at any person's life, they are some of the books they read, the relationships they have, the information they received, the experiences they've had. When you give your life to Christ and ask him to be your savior, it's a relationship, it's not a religion. Mm -hmm. It's a relationship. The Spirit of God comes to live inside of you, and the Holy Spirit takes over your life. Mm -hmm. Now you have new information. You have a new relationship that will shape your life. Mm -hmm. April 12, 1984, I had been doing cocaine all night. It was 5 o'clock in the morning, and I have been doing cocaine for two years. My first two years with the charges. I gave my life to Christ. I said, Jesus, forgive me. I'm a sinner. I know you died and rose from the dead for my sin. Please fill me with the Spirit of God. I stopped doing cocaine that day, stopped smoking weed that day, got back with my now wife but at the time we were dating, he changed my life. So it wasn't that I changed my life. I surrendered to him mm -hmm. and, and didn't live uh, a level of goodness in my own mind. Mm -hmm. It was a level of goodness in his own heart. Mm -hmm. And so when you ask Christ to be your savior, now I have eternal life. You could, If I physically die, I'm with the Lord immediately right. because of the relationship I have. Let's talk about um, Good Friday as well. Because, yeah. you know, that it, for some people, the idea, you know, that Jesus died on the cross you know it's such a it's like a sad yes. thought you know yeah. the, the the suffering and the pain that he went through and you know hanging up on the cross you know it's a sad thing but it's not the way we look at it now should be a little bit different it's not just a sad 
thing. Yeah, it was horrible. And, you know, the sermon I'm doing on uh, Good Friday, which is my birthday, by the way. I know. Happy birthday. <laughs> hey, I'm turning 28. Yeah, hey. <laughs> for, the, for the 50th time. I know. Uh, um, is that his death, he was paying for our sin. Mm -hmm. And the, the sermon I'm doing on Friday is called Wounded, and I'm not gonna give the whole thing away, yeah. but his stripes, they beat, they put thorns in his head, yeah. they beat him, they whipped him, they spit on him, they pulled his beard out, they hit him with rods. He was suffering for our sin. Mm -hmm. So what was said about it was he had never done anything wrong. He had never sinned. That's mm -hmm. why it's Jesus. Mm -hmm. He was suffering for our sin. And so why wouldn't we take advantage, which is why he died, I'm dying to pay for your sin, so mm -hmm. give your life to me. So if we say, well, I, no, nah, I think I'll pay for my own sin in, in hell. Why would you do that? Right. And why would you pay for your own sin even in this life? When I was struggling with drugs and, and, and when I was a mess, I was suffering from my own activity. Mm -hmm. And when I said, Lord, I'm giving my life to you, he said, now I'm going to deliver you from that. Mm -hmm. And so the, 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 death, the death of Christ is, is payment for our sin. He didn't, he didn't, you know, he didn't go to jail. He was executed. Right. Our sin has a death sentence attached to it. He died the death sentence. Right. And so now we have the opportunity to ask him to forgive us and surrender our life to him. Not only in our mind say, okay, now I'm good, I can do what I want, but I'm going to surrender my life to you and live for you. Right. In your heart, in your soul, in Correct. your daily activity. Correct. Okay, lots of, lots of services available at the Rock Church Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We'll have all that information on our website, KUSI.com. So, how lucky am I? I got to see you two times in two weeks. How lucky One am I? One week. Oh, yeah, was oh, it? I was just here like a week ago. I know. Linda, 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 Linda listen, listen to, to me, me Linda. Linda. <laughs> well, I'm so happy to see you. Happy birthday. Happy Easter. Thank we you. will see you at The Rock this weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right.